As you guys can see, we are getting more than 100 FPS while emulating Pal World on the Winlater Frost. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrex here. A brand new version of Winlater has just launched on GitHub, and in today's video, we'll be setting it up, taking a look at it. It's known as Winlater Frost because it is the folk version of normal Winlater with amazing features that are present in Mobox Simulator, including updated turnip drivers and much more. So, before getting started, if you guys are new here, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. Let's jump right into the setup process. All right, guys. Right here, I am on the official Winlater Frost GitHub page. As I mentioned before, this is an open source project. It basically provides you with some improvements over the normal version of Winlater including better mine versions, better performance and compatibility. So we'll be trying it out and I'll be telling you guys if it is better than the normal Winlater version. And the minimum requirements will be Adreno 6 series and 7 series GPU. Mali GPU support is also present in Frost Winlater so universal all GPU version you guys can use it. And there is also an option to use LLVM pipe if you want to run software apps and not games. For example, it may work with Photoshop, Chrome etc. I haven't tested it out but if you guys want me to then I can do that. Anyways, let's start with the Winlater Frost 7.0 version 1. So you guys will be able to see the changelog, updated Wine 9.2, converted all DXVK into container settings, added new Virgil, added new versions of Box64 and Box86, some minor changes and afterwards we received version 1.1 of 7.0 which adds Wine 8.0.2 and afterwards we received version 1.2, access compatibility for GTA 5 and afterwards we received the latest Winlater Frost 7.1 version 1. Basically, it is a folk version of Winlater 7.1 and it provides a compatibility update for the official version 7.1. So let's start setting it up. By the way, if you guys already have the Winlater Android present here, then you will need to use the bench version of Winlater Frost. Alright guys, there we go. I have loaded the Winlater Frost version on my Android device. So when you open it for the first time, just tap on the allow option and it will automatically start loading the Winlater Android. By the way guys, here's our today's Google Play Store gift card redeem code given giveaway which I do daily on my channel. So if you also want to participate in this giveaway then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications so you can be the first one to redeem the gift card. Will later Frost has been loaded properly. Now let's just go ahead and go to settings and here is the first change which you'll notice. It provides you option to either use Wine 9.2 or Wine 8.0.2. Now Wine 9.2 should be used for people who preferably have Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor because it has WoW 64 support. But if you want better performance then go with Wine 8.0.2. And in terms of Box 86 version, there are multiple Box 86 and Box 64 version present in the Winlater Frost. So you can choose them according to the games that you are testing it out. I would recommend you guys to keep it at default and I'll use the performance preset. Once that has been done, let's just go ahead and tap on the tick mark option and create a brand new container of Winlater Frost. So right here wine version you will be able to choose from multiple wines either wine 8.0.2 or wine 9.2 and if you just go ahead and go to advanced settings you will be able to see the experimental wow 64 mode which is not present with the wine 8.0.2 so snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor or any new processors you will need to use wine 9.2 and in terms of graphics driver you get turnip dx wrapper uh, we have lot of dx wrappers by the way we have 1.10.3 asynchronous uh, dx wrapper which we use in emulators like mobile or horizon emulator it works really well 0.40.1 so a lot of drivers are present you'll need to use it according to the game that you want to test out but for today's video we'll go with 1.10.3 asynchronous and then tap on the ok button make sure to enable wow 64 mode and make sure to tick mark the processor affinity afterwards let's just go to wine configuration make sure to enable show fps audio driver set it to pulse audio and yeah that's about it you can set the video memory size as 4 gb now once that has been done let's just go ahead and create our brand new content dinner afterwards let's open it and there was one issue with the latest win later 7.0 and 7.1 which i really faced on my snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor android device the game loading time were so long like literally it took me like 5 to 10 minutes of loading just to record a gta 5 gameplay anyways i forgot to mention screen size make sure to set it as 480p resolution afterwards let's run win later container once again and this time you will be able to see the text etc a bit better on camera anyways the first step which i always like to do is make Make sure to open wine configuration and just take a look at so many stuff that has been provided in will later frost version we have custom wine versions we have fixes section we also remove the dxvk frame limits game fixes are present including fix for unity games and much more anyways input bridge shortcut has also been provided so you can just go ahead and tap on one button and your input bridge on screen touch controls will be enabled which is very useful because let's be honest we don't really like the rts controls of the win later android so there we go input bridge touch controls are now working in Winlater Android. We also get lot of programs but 
The first thing which I like to do is make sure to open Wine configuration and set the Windows version to Windows 10. Now by default if it is set to Windows 7 then make sure to change it because some games might give you compatibility issues like God of War so let's apply this and tap on OK. Alright guys as for today's gameplay test we'll be trying out Pal World to see how well does it actually work on the WinLater Frost version and if this video reaches 150 likes we'll also be testing out Grand Theft Auto 5 on this version of WinLater and as you will be able to see at the top left corner we are almost getting 100 fps which is uh, pretty surprising nonetheless let's just go ahead and start a brand new game let's tap on confirm let's tap on ok once again and yeah the controls are a bit small and pal world is one of those games which you think at first that it's not going to work but it actually manages to work properly on any windows emulator for android uh, and one thing which i'm noticing is the fact that there are no graphical issues like this has never happened before uh, like there used to be a lot of character glitches and stuttering issues when creating your character in PAL world in any windows emulator for android and I'm not seeing any of those issues. Anyways I think I spoke too soon there are some graphical issues uh, in the eyes of the characters. Nonetheless as you will be able to see PAL world has successfully started. Anyways I have disabled input bridge controls because I want to test out the default input controls which are lot by the way because I realized that the developer has even provided us with pre-added input touch controls for games like Tomb Raider or anything like that I mean it's pretty amazing uh, let's just go ahead and choose the Tomb Raider style touch input controls let's tap on the OK button and there we go we have gotten our on-screen touch controls and uh, the amazing part which I'm really noticing is the fact that we are getting almost 15 FPS while emulating PAL world which is surprising to be completely honest and you will be able to notice that the controls are working properly but the Tomb Raider is not the correct input control so let's try out generally option and let's tap on ok there we go we have gotten some amazing touch controls now which actually work unlike the virtual gamepad option which didn't used to work and you will be able to see that our pal world is running on our android device without any issues and the fps which we are getting is more than what we get in emulators like horizon and also mobox emulator and even the normal winlator android the graphical issues are very very minimal like it won't affect your gameplay at all so that's a huge props for it i'm really excited for testing out gta 5 in our next gameplay video so be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on all notification that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching goodbye